Now, what we are going to do is to create a taxonomy in order to apply policy tax to our data, to our BigQuery tables. So, this taxonomy is going to be about data sensitivity. So, we are going to categorize um, the data in our BigQuery tables according of if it's considered low sensitive, medium, or high sensitive. And then we are going to um, give access to some users or others depending on their on their, for example, on their team. So we can give the HR team uh, access to all data and then give the sales team access to just low sensitive data, for example. So let's create the taxonomy. It's going to be called data sensitivity. A good practice here, we could create like uh, shorter um, taxonomies and then have a user guide, for example, like a kind of glossary explaining um, which kind of um, policy tax should be given depending on the, on the table. But what we are going to do is to make a very big taxonomy in order to be able to apply it to all our data. We can just choose some policy tax and not the others. So we will have this user guide inside the data catalog, okay? So we're going to create a very big taxonomy that we can use for all our user data, for example. I'm going to create a node that is going to be called um, data sensitivity. And then I'm going to create the three levels, okay? So high, medium, and low. Why am I doing this, this root node first tag? I'm doing this because then I will be able to um, apply policy tags by choosing which policy tags and their sub nodes I want to give access that person or that group of users to or that identity. So if I create a root policy tag, what I can do is if I apply this data sensitivity policy tag uh, to an identity, um, all the sub tags will be applied to that person. So, for example, in the HR um, case, I won't be, I won't need to choose like high, medium, and low policy tags. I can just choose data sensitivity, and that tag contains the other three. So now I'm going to create sub tags for different kind of data that that we can see in our users. Okay. Okay, so now we created our taxonomy. We have different kinds of high sensitive data like pay rates or the name of the employee or the user, the user ID. We have some medium um, sensitive data and some low sensitive data. So we just click create. Now the taxonomy is being created. And now what we can do is apply policy tax based on this taxonomy. So we are going to apply policy tax to this BigQuery table. If we explore it, we will see that it's a table that contains users data. Okay, specifically it contains employee data. So we have employee names, numbers, and all this kind of information, pay rate, etc. So now I'm going to apply the policy tag. Okay, so an important thing to know is we create the taxonomy in, in data catalog, but the place where we should apply the policy tags is in BigQuery, okay? Because we are going to um, edit the BigQuery table schema in order to attach some policy tags in here, okay? Okay, so we click edit schema and what we need to do is to select which column we want to apply policy tag to. In this case, the employee name was a full name so I'm going to choose here from the high policy tags, the name one, including the first name and the surname. Okay, so this is a name. This is an employee number or user ID. 
and so we need to do this with all the different um, fields. Okay, so now we have edited the schema, we have added all the policy tags for each of the columns. We click save. Okay, so as you might be thinking, this is quite a manual process. So in order not to need to assign one by one all the policy tags to each column, what we can do is to edit the table schema from the command line by assigning a JSON file to the, to the schema. Okay. And there we can specify for each of the columns of the schema which policy tag we want to we want to assign to each column. And that way, if we have a JSON file with all the different policy tags IDs that can be found here. Okay, now we can see for every policy tag which is the the resource name, so the identifier. Uh, we can create this very big JSON, and if we want to. Um, attach policy tags to a table that doesn't have so many columns, doesn't matter. We just take the JSON, delete all the, the policy tags that we don't want to use or all the columns and then apply it. Okay, so I'm going to show how to, how to, how to do this same process by using the JSON file. Okay, so now we are back here. We don't have any policy tags applied and we are going to apply them um, by using this JSON file that we set. So what we are going to do is to send the current schema to to a JSON file and then editing it. So let's do BigQuery show the schema and JSON. Okay. Okay. And now this is our table. Um, we are going to set send it schema, so a file called schema.json. This is a project, dataset, and table. Okay, so it seems like the file is already saved. Let's open the editor. And that's schema.json. We see here that we have some columns with no policy tags applied, okay? Um, I created uh, another JSON by adding to each table, the, to each column, sorry, the policy tag that should apply to that column. So what we need to do is to add this policy tags field to each column, and this is the resource ID, so the ID of each policy tag. When we click here, we just copy them, and this sentence is automatically added. We created the taxonomy in the finance project, although we are in the HR project. That's why all the IDs are yeah, including this finance project. So now we have this complete schema.json file. And what we can do is just assign it to the, to the BigQuery table. Okay, so now what we are going to do is to assign that complete schema with the policy tags to our table. So let's click here, BigQuery update. Here we need to put our table and then we're going to edit its schema with our new JSON file with the policy tags. Okay, it says the table has been successfully updated. So let's see. And here we are, all the policy tags. So it seems like a bit cumbersome because we need to create this JSON file with all the policy tags, but the fact is that the first time it does, it is cumbersome, but then once we create that very big JSON file, we can apply this policy tax to any table that we want. We just need to take the JSON file, delete the columns that don't apply to the table, and once we have that schema, apply it with this BigQuery command that was super quick. So best practice, um, better create one or a few taxonomies um, with this very big JSON file and then apply it for editing all your BigQuery table schemas by deleting that columns that the table doesn't have. So this way you can apply your policy tags much faster to all your tables. It seems a bit more complex at the beginning, but at the end um, it saves time. 
And now, what are we going to do? We are going to apply, we just configured the policy tags and now we're going to, to apply the access. Um, the access to the resources based on this policy tags. What we are going to do with our taxonomy now is to apply the different levels of access. So we are going to assign the access that each ident identity should have to each kind of data, right? So in this case, what we are going to do is to give the data curator just access to the low uh, sensitive data, okay? So how do we give access to the different identities? What we need to do is to select the level that we want to, to apply and then to apply the fine-grained reader role to that identity at that level. So with the data curator, I want to access all the, all the data. So high, low and medium sensitive data. So I select the data sensitivity, so the whole taxonomy. I search for the data governor and I apply this fine-grained reader role. Okay. Now to the data curators, I just want that people to access the low uh, sensitive data. So remember that the identities that why that we can apply the permissions to can be uh, individual users like this case, but they can also be user groups or service accounts, for example. So the thing is now, even the, even if I have just applied the low sensitive data to the, to the data curator until I enforce the access. So until I enable this control, all the people will have access to the data that they used to have before applying this policy tax. So um, right now the data curator can access the, the, the data that is high and medium. But once I click this, that people won't have access to it. So the best practice is don't enable this. So don't enforce the, uh, the access control until you're sure that all the people that should have access to the data still has it. So that we, are, we have included here with the fine-grained fine grade role permission to all the identities that should access the data. Because for example, imagine that we have a service account that accesses that BigQuery column for something. We don't add that service account into any of these levels. Then we enforce the access control and that service is just blocked because that service account won't have access to the data anymore. So maybe we can affect some processes. So the best practice is don't enforce this. First, go to the cloud logging. So go to the logs. And here you can search for the BigQuery table and see which identities are accessing that data, which identities are accessing each column. And then once we are sure, once we check the logs and add all the identities here, then we can enforce the access control. Okay, so imagine we have checked the logs, we can now enforce the access control. So we're going to see with the data curator, we have the policy tags, but as we haven't enforced them yet, we still have access to the data, okay? So here in preview, I can see, for example, the pay rate, even if it's a high sensitive data column. But now what I'm going to do with the data governor is to enforce the access control. And now the data curator should have access just to the low sensitive data. So let's see what happened here. Okay, so now we see that almost every column, so all the medium and high sensitive data columns show a warning saying you don't have access to this field. And if I click preview, it seems like all that columns were deleted and I can just access the low sensitive data columns. And if I query the table or if I query specific columns, I would just have access to that columns that I was granted access to with the policy tags. 